Whoa, 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 hey, hey! You got something on your face. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid cunt? You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Please, Bigby. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. I promise. Thank you for trusting me. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? Come with me. No. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow! You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. No, I'm D. He's dumb. Fuck happened before we showed up. Dad! I'm looking for the woodsman. Well, he's not here. Holly, you're out of paper towels and uh, they're gonna string me up, baby. You said it looks fucking bad. It looks really bad, but I didn't do it. You said you wouldn't hurt me. You said you wouldn't run. This fucking lab dog comes sniffing around this part. Rich fucks in the woods need a shake. Uh, Isn't that right, Big B? Uh, are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. Alright, is that the intro? Perfect. Sweet, so a little recap there. Alright, well, welcome to episode 2, part 1 of The Wolf Among Us. I am Derek D. Ginger King. Like, favorite, comment, subscribe. As we start episode two. That's his surprised face. <laughs> Mr. Wolf. He took a picture. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, if he took a picture of that, that's kinda messed up. I'm making this more difficult than it has to be. If you just cooperate and answer the questions, you can go home. Maybe get some sleep. How are you feeling? Oh, here we go. I know it's been a long night for you. You look like you Um so I'm going to say B. I'll be better when I find who did this, which I can't do while sitting in here. We all want the same thing here, Big B. Look. I know what you must be going through. Really, I do. But I could use your cooperation. I just smoke. <laughs> In episode one, I played a quiet guy. I didn't like Snow White. I was very much a beauty person. That's very helpful. Thank you. Who's she looking at in there? What happened? Yeah, you just smeared it across your face. You got a tissue or something? Detective Brannigan? I'm Detective Brannigan. Uh, yeah, I know. I just said that. Is there something? Do you hear that? <gasps> what the hell is going on with her? Just make it stop, please. 
Is this episode three? Did I miss an episode? We have to go now. What the fuck is? Yeah, what's going, going on? <laughs> you should be thanking me. It's just a memory wipe spell. Very expensive, but it works. The whole station will forget the last twenty-four hours and everything they saw at the woodlands. Well, but why? Up. When does Crane know magic? And he did keep the picture as a memento. What the hell, man? Strange opening, I suppose. God, that would be awkward, yeah. Um. <laughs> um. Thanks for the ride. <laughs> I have nothing against Crane. Found the woodsman chained up to a post last night. That was your doing, correct? Yeah. Well, thanks to you, there's been at least some hope in this whole dreadful affair. I'm confident he has some information about the slayings. Bluebeard's currently interrogating him. Bluebeard. Okay, who is Bluebeard? I've got questions for him. I know what you're thinking, Bigby. It's been one full night and a slice of morning, and I already miss her too. That's bullshit. He hated her. And I don't really miss her. Good riddance. You really you don't really care, ignore him, it's hard. Ignore him, yeah. I have nothing to say when it comes to her and Our feeling sad. I don't care. So simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. Did she uh, give any indication to what she was thinking? When we saw her last, I mean. I don't know why, but I'd like to know that she was... I guess fine, I suppose. She just told me to be careful. She was always... Yeah, be careful what I say. Big B. Yeah. I don't know what else to say, Big B. We have to, have to put an end to this. Like, suddenly he's a good guy. What does that mean? If we don't unearth our culprit, and soon... There will likely be another on our doorstep tonight. I'll get it done. Please, Big B. For Miss White. I got it. Oh, shit. 